boom, which is something that happens a lot in Punisher comics. Never been a really super big fan of the Punisher until I watched the Punisher series on Netflix when I was aware of who he was, but it's like, all right, whatever. Now, Punisher number one, you have the Punisher assassinating the Mandarin. Damn. That just made me think, holy shit. And the stakes have gone up since then. Punisher number 14. Yeah, the Punisher back in Manhattan after his whole uh, story arc of going up against AIM and Baron Zemo. And damn, I can't remember the name of the country they were in. It's some fictional one. But he's still going against Baron Zemo and AIM. But he also has to deal with Mayor Fisk in New York. And uh, he's got Baron Zemo after him, who is a legitimate head of state. So it's Baron Zemo. You have the UN troops, which aren't exactly UN troops, but his own AIM people. After Frank, you have uh, Mayor Fisk trying to deal with the situation, trying to kill uh, Frank Castle. And the stakes just keep going up and up and up. And Frank is just rolling with it. Saying, all right, I'm not going to deal with this shit anymore. I'm just going to kill everybody. One of the cool things about this series is you have Natasha Romanoff showing up. And one of my favorite, favorite Marvel characters, when done well... Moon Knight showing up to help Frank go up against Mayor Fisk. And in this case, Moon Knight was done quite well because Rosenberg seems to actually be a good writer. There's a little exchange um, between Frank and Moon Knight who really don't seem to like each other, you know, um, Moon Knight asks, hey, how's the wife and kids? And Frank Castle asks him, goes, hey, how's the mental issues going? Which I thought was absolutely funny. Uh, this is one of the three comics by Marvel that I read on a regular basis. The other one being the Immortal Hulk. And also Moon Knight, which is not, at this moment, a regular series. But, like I said, it has Moon Knight in it. So, damn. have to tell you, uh, this has just been one non-stop fun ride with the Punisher. Violence, intrigue, uh, just everything going on at once. And, uh, dude, if you're a fan of The Punisher, get it, read it, and enjoy yourself because it's fun. Like and subscribe.